Siren Blood Curse is a game I always had my eyes on for a couple of days now because everyone seems to phrase it quite a lot. Siren seems to be an obscure series because it's not well known compared to Resident Evil or Silent Hill. It had an interesting game mechanic that made it stand out compared to other horror games. Also, it was made by the game director of Silent Hill, Keichiro Toyama, Ke Ke Keichiro Toyama, you know what the fuck I'm saying, you know what I mean. I gotta say, there's a lot of people who compare this game to Resident Evil 4, and I gotta say they're definitely crazy, because this game is not like RE4 at all. This game is completely unique where it goes. It's so, like, mindfucker that Silent Hill has, in a way. I'll explain later. Anyways, let's talk about the plot, because it's gonna be a wild, I... I don't know if I understood the plot myself, but I definitely had to go look on the internet to see if I really understood because, oh my god, just, it, there's, there's a lot to take here. Maybe for me, for my first time playing, because it was just like, what? NANI?! I'm just kidding, but yeah, let's begin. You start the game as a TV crew who just witnessed murder during a ritual. A boy comes in and tries to help, but the girl's already stabbed and is bleeding out. He then runs away. That boy is named Howard Wright, our main character. Like that. Goddamn psychos! Fuck! Fuck! I'm just gonna tell you real quick that Siren Blood Curse is like a reimagine of the first Siren game. Like in the first Siren, there were no American characters in it at all, they were just all Japanese. I don't know, this game feels like a cliche horror movie. Anyways, Howard arrives in the police station and asks for help. The police comes in and acting madly suspicious. Hey, wait, what are you? What are you now? Cop tries to kill Howard. Howard runs away and gets shot. I'm just gonna tell you that getting shot is something the Siren series does quite often. You die a lot by getting shot in the older games too. I don't know what's the reception with it, but it's fucking hilarious. And boom, the first episode is done. If I continue more, I'll be talking about spoiler territory here. So I'm just gonna warn you, there'll be a number on the screen so you can skip. And I'm gonna share my experience too, because they were kind of worth sharing. <sighs> okay, there is 12 episodes in this game. There's a lot happens in each episode, plot-wise and gameplay-wise, and I gotta say some some stupid shit too. Episode two: One of the members of the TV crew is looking for his wife and daughter, and this is Sam. This is some joke for TV. Oh yeah, this game is always fucking dark. Just telling you that. As he searches, he gets knocked the fuck out by his own wife, thinking he was one of those monsters. <laughs> oh, and Howard is still fine, even though he just ate a fucking bullet. He then meets a mysterious girl who tries to help him. Then later you get to play as Mr. Ciego, the badass, with the shotgun. Episode 3. You play as Bella and you have to run away from one of the TV crews because he has died and become one of those creatures. Oh yeah, and he's black, so yeah, he died first. This is totally like a horror movie, isn't it? Episode 4, you play as the badass and you have to protect Sam from getting killed. Not gonna lie, this whole plus chapter was a little bit janky. But this is the chapter where I got shot the first time. It really felt nice getting shot. Howard meets the special girl who will have a special role in this story. After Bella escapes from his friend, she gets struck by a tree because she's getting too much screen time. Sam reunites with his wife and Bella surprisingly survives an attacking tree. That's what we call the devil's luck. She avoided the tree. Also, Seagull gets tired of being in this game so he eats his own bullet. <laughs> Kinda sucks because I really liked him as a character, he was my favorite one in this game. But he comes back as a Shibito and shoots a special girl, so Howard needs to confront him. Also, remember when I said you get shot a lot in this game? Example number two! <laughs> But 
don't worry, I killed him just as fast. Revenge is a dish you serve cold. Then Howard meets the ritual girl again and gets turned on fire, then falls off the fucking mountain. Yeah, Howard is just not a lucky guy, isn't he? He plays as Bella again and you have to run away from the fucking camera dude once again! Then boom, this is where the plot twist starts to come in. And the mind fuckery. Bella? It seems that she didn't survive the tree after all, and Howard is still fucking alive and normal. Howard searches for the special girl again and only finds Bella with a special makeover. Then Melissa shoots Howard for no goddamn reason. Get away from her. After this, Howard wakes up in a familiar place and meets the ritual girl again. This is where he realized that the time has repeated itself. But apparently, he jumped another timeline with Diego. They kept their memory intact, but all the other characters don't remember nothing about the first timeline. Even though the characters don't have memory of the other timeline, the events are being different. Abella, instead of being alone, she is escaping with her mom. And Sam, instead of meeting with his wife, he meets with the camera dude. Forgot his name, sorry. And they quickly get surrounded by Shibitos, and the black guy dies first, and they don't even show it on screen. You know what he does when he becomes a Shibito? Instead of going after anyone else who's closer to the area, he goes after fucking Bella. Why? No one in this forsaken planet shall know. And Sam is alright because of course he is, you know? Uh, did you love him, I guess? Uh, I don't know, he's, he's alive, he somehow made it. But the mom protects Bella right to the end and even sacrifices herself to give Bella some time to escape. I did it, mommy! I love you, Bella! Run! Quite sad, but maybe like her character a lot more. But Sego's here to protect her. When Howard wakes up, he remembers Miyako doing a blood pack with him. This will be important later on. And while Bella's running away from Shibitos, she encounters her mom again. But obviously, she's not gonna be normal. It's mommy! <laughs> I came to get you! No! When she escapes, she encounters Howard, who's looking for Miyako, who got captured by the ritual girl once again. Howard and Sam arrive at the same time to stop Miyako's sacrifice, but they're too late. And the god Kaito is resurrected. But Siego has a plan. With the magic box, he intends to destroy the Kaito's physical form. I can't say the real name of the box because it's fucking complicated. This destroys him and he goes back inside the inferno. While Sam looks for Bella, Howard will go to the inferno to face Kaito, but Sam is not the only one looking for her. Mom is after her too. And she's pretty forceful about it too. I turn around for 4 seconds and she kills me instantly. When you defeat Melissa, she regains her motherly instinct and tries to protect Bella from the fucking cameraman again. Sadly, the three of them fall in the portal. Once you reach the other side, Sego will give you the OP box because he's too OP to have that, so he gives it to you to make it a fair fight. This role is meant for you. I'm afraid you better set this fight. Then you'll have this mano to mano boss fight with Siago, which is really clunky and weird. Those the Where the fuck did he- oh. Anyways, Munchilu gets tired of using his gun and bring out his family sword. Okay, this is where the blood pack will come into play. Since Miyako's blood is in Howard, he can use the box to its full potential. 
Now that the two main characters have took off their limiter, they're about to fight like gods. Okay, maybe I lied. Reset. With his roll finished, he gives you the sword and vanishes. Now you have to face Kaito, and he sends you to this world fucking trippy place where it hurts your eyes. I don't know if that was a good idea from the developer's part, but like, holy shit, it's so trippy. I don't even know how you can come up with this idea. It makes me think if the developer was like on cocaine or something when he made the final boss. Anyways, fighting Kaito seems impossible, but with Miyako's help and spirit, you succeed on defeating him. Once Howard defeats Kaito, they just leave the girl there and she just walks away. <laughs> and that's it. I don't know why this is so funny to me. <laughs> anyway, Sam is sent back to the past in 1976 instead of the present which was 2007. And from what I look up online, apparently Bella and Kaito were sent so far in the past that she started to starve and she ate Kaito and she became the ritual girl who's still alive in the present day. Yeah, that's something to think about, I guess. But Sam lives long enough to send a message to Howard in the present to go back to the village to meet his younger son. It, I don't know if it makes sense, but yeah, anyways. Howard goes on in a killing spree in the freaking loop dimension or some shit. I don't know what's going on here, but now he has the power and he's gonna kill some Shibito. That's all that matters. He's gonna be killing Shibitos forever since he's stuck in this dimension for some reason. I don't know. It's kinda sad, but like, hey, he seems to be happy with it, so yeah, he's keeping his promise to Miyako, so he's fine with it, so it's all good. This is my promise to Miyako. Tyrant's blood curse's controls are really pretty bad. <laughs> For some reason when you stand still and turn around you go very fast, but when you're sprinting and trying to turn a corner, you have trouble controlling your character. Meaning you'll be hitting walls a lot of times before going inside the freaking door or something. You can play in first person to avoid these problems, but you'll most likely stay in third person because your character moves way too goddamn much and it does not feel comfortable. It's like watching a drunk guy walk, it's unbearable. Oh yeah, when you get lost in this game, there's no map in the right corner of the screen or anything. You have to press the start button, look at the map, de-pause, and keep playing, and it's really freaking annoying because you get lost often in this game. The weapons. The weapons are really freaking interesting. You wanna know why? This is supposed to be a horror game, okay? But for some reason, it does not matter what weapon you pick. As soon as you get any kind of weapon, you're freaking invincible. It really takes away from the scare factor of knowing that you're freaking invincible, that you can kill everyone in the freaking village. Especially if you find a gun, you become god instantly. Nothing will kill you besides another Shibito with a gun. And the guns are not rare at all, you find them pretty freaking often. Oh yeah, this game has this filter on when you play on your TV. You won't see it in the video, of course, but when you play it, the filter makes the game really hard to see so plus that the game's so freaking dark it's really unplayable a bit the enemy design is actually really good besides the normal shape beetles who only have blood in their face most of the enemies always have bug like features on them which is really cool and this is coming from someone who's scared of bugs look there's only two terrifying enemies in this game is that big person who grabbed it, Melissa and that fucking face that was behind the freaking closet. That face is the only scare I got in this game because it was just there. Like, there was no context, there's nothing, it's just there. Look, I would like to compliment the enemies a lot more, but sadly, you can kill them all with a fork, so it really makes them less terrifying, even though they have good designs. It's really sad. But fuck the flying she beetles, like, holy shit, they're really fucking annoying. Oh, yeah, and I almost forgot about the important game mechanic. In this game, you can see through enemies' eyes with this special ability, but it makes the game very blurry and hard to see, and it takes half your screen, and honestly, I didn't really like using that ability. It just felt bad using it, because to see what they're seeing, in this change, I have to not see anything on my screen. Plus, with the filter, it just makes it worse. Look, I was looking for horror when I played Siren Blood Curse. 
the horror is not what I found. I found pretty much a meme gameplay and I had a good laugh fighting enemies, that's for sure. Maybe I should play the older ones since they seem to be more horror focused and atmosphere than this one. Besides the gameplay issues, which I really hate, it's an okay-ish game? Like, you'll have fun a bit, but like, oh yeah, I forgot to say, you go through the same areas like about five or four times. Yeah, this game, they could have been a lot better, I'm not gonna lie. But I guess they succeeded on making the characters cliche as fuck, especially with the black guy, of course. So, props to them, I guess? But maybe you drift better off playing the other side in mean, games because Jesus. But I heard those games are really hard in terms of difficulty, and they're kind of, you need a guide since you can lose items and you cannot progress anymore besides restarting your game. So, yeah, if you have, like playing games like that, yeah, go ahead. But yeah, I'm done. Maybe I should explain a lot better plot-wise this game, but like I said, I'm really trash at explaining things, so I'm very sorry if you did not understand jack shit of what I said. But yeah, I guess this is it? This video is way too long, but yeah, if you were looking for something horror, sorry and Blood Curse really isn't it. There's a lot of other better games out there you can try. It has a few good soundtrack, I have to say, near the end especially. I have to say, for a horror game, it went to an unpredictable path, especially finding that freaking god Kaito, which is really weird. But besides that, the game mechanics not really, the gameplay issues were not really that fun to go through, so yeah. Anyways, I think this video is extremely long enough. I didn't want it to be that long, so yeah. Have a good day.